YouTube. Welcome to Herbie's Reef. Um, today we have some bad news, unfortunately. If you will look real closely, especially at this Manny Pack, you will see that somehow we have picked up dino flagellates. And I've looked at them under a microscope, and you can see them swimming around, and it's definitely dino, which is really disappointing news to me because I have struggled with this before in our nano aquarium, and it is a beast to get rid of. But what we've decided to do, I've been reading through the forums and people have had really, really good luck with the Vibrant dosing and getting rid of Dino. And even though originally I thought maybe the Vibrant caused me trouble, at this point I'm desperate to get rid of this stuff before it gets any worse. Because so far there's not much of it in my display tank. But my display tank is connected to this one so I know that it's going to get there if I don't get a hold of this stuff before it gets bad. So I'm going to go ahead and start dosing the Vibrant again. I'm going to remove my Kato. We're going to hopefully not kill the Kato. I think that's what caused part of my issues is when the Kato died, it probably had absorbed a lot of the tin that was being um, put into the water. And so it released a ton of tin, which caused some of my RTN. Okay, here we are at the display tank. I don't think you can really see much of the dino in here but if you look at the top of the home wrecker the home wrecker unfortunately i believe the tips got burned a bit on it so i don't know how it's going to turn out but if you look it's got one little bubble thing floating off of it and i don't know why the tip burned it's been doing so well but i think that tip is burned it may just be bluing up but i really don't think so it looks pretty bad to me and it hasn't had the polyps out as much lately i kind of wonder if my photo period's a little too long and when I did the ICP test, my alkalinity was only 7.3. So I started raising it up very, very slowly, and I've got the alkalinity now. Probably it's closer to 8. I don't think it's very high yet. And I have nitrates and phosphates in my water. I have about 5 and 0.6. Anyhow, I've, I've got them in the water, so I wouldn't think the tips would burn, but I do keep a very long photo period. So I'm wondering if possibly that's my issue. The other corals are all looking good. There's the pink lemonade. Green Slimer is actually this little head uh, branch is coming off of it and it's got one in the back too and it's really encrusting. Every day it grows more. The Jolt is looking great. It's got polyps out. I don't know if this video shows how good it's looking but it really has colored up. And then we've added this one. That's a Jason Fox. We got it yesterday. It's a solar flare. Unfortunately the back side of it looks like it's RTN while it was on the way here but it, I don't know, it's weird, it's in a long line. I sent it to Jason, he said if it doesn't live, he will replace it. But that'll be a solar flare milling. And then we got this really awesome haterade right here. If you look, it's just, it's all the way encrusted. This was a what you see is what you get. And we jumped on this one when we could get it. So I hope not to lose any more coral, but I don't know if Dino gets all through my tank. Oh, and here's the other thing. This is probably still related to the tin. One of the heads of this torch is has died. But we also, <laughs> all this happened right as we got some new corals. Here's a Walt Disney that we just picked up. It hasn't colored up real well yet, but it's it's a nice frag. And then we also picked up this bubble gum, which is similar to the Forest Fire Digi, but, but it's a bubble gum. And this one's also trying to bleach on me. The guy that we got it from kept it in pretty low light and I had it probably in a little high power plus I'm just not sure whatever's going on in my tank has made it super happy. So hopefully it'll make it, but but it wasn't terribly expensive coral, so, so if it doesn't, it's not as bad as if the home record dies, for sure. Anyhow, I think that's it for now. We're going to go ahead and dose the Vibrant. I know about half of you have told me it's awesome. The other half, maybe a third of you have said that, it's, that you don't know. And then maybe a quarter of you have said that you think it's a bad idea. So I don't know, but I've read the thread on Reef to Reef on the Vibrant. They've got an official thread there. And the, the success of this stuff is overwhelmingly positive. And those of you like Billy Pipes and some of you guys that I respect quite a bit have said that you use it all the time and it's worked really well for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bite the bullet and put it in. So I've taken all the Kato out and I'm gonna have some nit uh, nitrates, neonitrate and neophosphate ready to dose just in case it strips my nutrients down and I'll try to keep them right about where they are now. 
it's kind of a shame because really the tank looks really good except for the few areas that look bad. This thing's just not open. It was open earlier, but I've had my hands in the tank so the clowns went crazy on it and made it closed. But the Ganapora is just amazing lately. And then this uh, grafted Monty Cold Fusion has really been growing. It's almost made it to the edge of the frag plug it's on. And all these frags up here look great. So and really the tank, I mean, you would not know I was having any issues if you just saw it from back here, but I can tell it's off. The clam hasn't been adding any new layers to its shell. And, and like I said, the home wrecker, its polyps haven't been out near as much. And it's got this weird thing on the top of it. So I'm worried and I don't want to go through dinos again. It, it was one of the hardest things I've ever had to treat in my whole reefing um, time, which I, I haven't been reefing that long, but still I, I really don't want to deal with it. So I've increased the water changes to five gallons a day. We're going to dose the Vibrant, take, took the Kato out, and we will go from there. I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, leave a like and subscribe. Bye.